If we eliminate the lines, the most entrancing star I accept is the star that could be dazzling in our sky. It is this one Beetlejuice or Scarab squeeze. It's a red giant star, and on the remote possibility that you put it where the sun is, it would connect with the orbit of Jupiter. It's gigantic, very fickle, and going to explode. However, it's not generally as clear as it appears to be in the universe. These epic events, like the most incredibly feared enormous starbursts, could shake all that we see and don't see to its core. Betelgeuse has been considered a sign, a red giant star that is several times more significant than our sun. Brian Cox and other space specialists believe it could go supernova at any time. People are generally frightened of what will happen, especially since the James Webb Space Telescope is taking dazzling photographs of the star. When exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and how immense of an effect will it have on Earth? Let us sort out this star in the constellation Orion that shines so brightly that even people from quite some time ago have seen it. The eminent star, Betelgeuse, is located on the eastern shoulder of the constellation, and it's the second largest star in that formation. Its name comes from this feature, the monster shoulder. It is quite possibly one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being especially bright, the star is also an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, means trouble. We've had some huge awareness of Betelgeuse for a long time. A Greek analyst named TMY also thought on it. Around that time, the main thing people acknowledged about stars was their color. TMY said that Betelgeuse was an orange color. Scientists have been concentrating on the star much more intently of late, and now have a good idea of what makes it so unusually bright. One of these attributes is that the star changes brightness a lot, with an apparent size of 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, meaning its brightness changes over time. However, lately, experts have found some new data about the star. In 2019, scientists initially saw that Betelgeuse was acting peculiarly. Even though it didn't totally stop shining, it became significantly less bright, shining at an extent of around 1.6. Scientists promptly began to explore why they were seeing the 10th most brilliant star in the sky behave in such an exceptional way. Specialists have needed to make a frightening statement in view of their research, which revealed strange signs the star has recently shown. Specialists say that Betelgeuse could go supernova at any time. Brian Cox, a prominent scientist who offered this incredibly dangerous statement, is a professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy. You shouldn't take his statement as a joke. He also has a science show, writes many popular science books, and is the Royal Society teacher for public engagement with science. Brian Cox says that Betelgeuse looks like a ticking delayed bomb since it could go off without warning. To compound the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown an enormous amount of evidence to back up this statement. Anyway, what strange signs has Betelgeuse given that have caused so much trouble in space science? With new information about Betelgeuse, the star has been named as a supernova candidate. However, scientists are still unsure when it will explode. The fact that Betelgeuse is multiple times the mass of the sun is one explanation for this classification. A star, so to speak, ought to be several times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get really intriguing, however, because scientists have used numerous tools to research Betelgeuse like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to observe what's happening in space around it. What they found is still unclear. Betelgeuse was born on August 31st, quite a while ago. Around that time, it reportedly gave strange signs that made its future dim. What did they find? Anyway, they could get impossible to miss light waves coming from the star or over Betelgeuse, which is very abnormal. But it wasn't the only thing experts saw from the star. This brings us to the possibility that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes from time to time. It was said that Betelgeuse dimmed down at regular intervals and had dark spots, much like our sun today. However, the circumstances have changed. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another strange sign that Betelgeuse is back. Scientists found that the star's dimming cycle had hit a band of brightness at plus 1.61 in February 2021. This was soon after the huge darkening event. Remember how the star seemed to reduce in an unusual way in 2019? That's because it's generally known as the Great Dimming. 
We could see that the great dimming was the start of Beetlejuice's odd conduct, and that made quite a large number of people stress that Beetlejuice was going to explode. The range of darkening was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the least level of darkening ever recorded was in 2011. So experts were sure that Beetlejuice would go supernova in the next 100,000 years due to the phenomenal darkening. There is a process occurring in the universe, so this is truly terrifying. Scientists right away altered their perspectives. Anyway, when they saw what happened next, Beetlejuice got brighter again after the great dimming, also transforming into something significantly more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% more brilliant than normal, making it the seventh most brilliant star in the sky right now. Scientists were scared when they saw a red sparkle in the southern portion of the globe. Today, it still gets more intriguing because this has led to various thoughts about what caused the great dimming. First, it's critical to note that not all stars have the red shimmer of Betelgeuse. The red shimmer of Betelgeuse means that it is a red supergiant star, which is the last phase of a star's life and death. The red shimmer, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is significantly cooler than the outer layer of the sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our sun, it radiates less energy per unit of surface area, regardless of the fact that it is more significant and going to detonate. Now, we need to examine what the great dimming seems to indicate. Brian Cox asks, does it imply that Betelgeuse is going to go supernova? Actually, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star already demonstrates that it is almost finished with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also typically dim over time, which is a thing that scientists decide. All things considered, Betelgeuse's new strange behavior made scientists significantly more concerned, and many telescopes are now focusing on the great dimming. Still, things get really intriguing since experts still don't have a profound understanding of Betelgeuse. Scientists are now using the most cutting-edge instruments to look out for the fascinating things happening around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tool scientists have used so far. Starting in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped scientists glean some significant knowledge about Betelgeuse. The new pictures of Betelgeuse's remarkable dimming, taken by this telescope, have shown that the event caused a surface mass ejection. Based on new research, we now know that this mass release was around 400 billion times greater than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. Consequently, specialists are excited for what the telescope will find. Scientists have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that appear to look like leaves in space. That doesn't make sense. Notwithstanding the fact that Betelgeuse will die, scientists are still observing it since they don't know when it will go supernova. Scientists believe that Betelgeuse is on multiple occasions more significant than the sun and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we look at the many unusual things happening with the star, it's hard to say if this assertion will still be valid after the exceptional darkening. So experts don't think Betelgeuse will detonate at any time soon. If Betelgeuse detonates, it will be the first supernova we observe for ourselves, since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Scientists also don't want this to happen soon, because they are still looking out for the star's peculiar conduct. Regardless of the fact that scientists are sure that Betelgeuse will go supernova, when exactly it will happen remains a mystery. If we examine the universe without the lines, potentially one of the most enchanting stars, and maybe the most astonishing in our sky is Betelgeuse. This red giant star, at whatever time set where the sun is, would extend to Jupiter's orbit. This incredibly large, unstable star is on the edge of an impact. The universe doesn't work in such clear terms. Staggering events like the feared starbursts could drastically change all that we see. Betelgeuse has given captivating indications, a red giant star that is several times the size of our sun cosmologists, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. The concern lies in the consequences of this event, especially since the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered disturbing pictures of the star. So when exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and what impact will it have on Earth? Betelgeuse's potential to go supernova has fascinated astronomers for centuries, 
but the most recent developments in space observation have brought this star into even sharper focus. The constant monitoring and analysis have brought to light many peculiarities that make this red giant a prime candidate for an imminent supernova event. Scientists are now deeply concerned, not only because of the star's massive size, but also due to the increasingly bizarre behavior that it's been exhibiting. The great dimming event in 2019, for example, raised a lot of alarm. It marked a sudden and drastic reduction in brightness, something that had never been observed in such a prominent star before. Researchers initially struggled to understand the cause of this dimming, and it didn't help that the behavior was so unexpected from such a stable and well-known celestial body. Some speculated that this might be a sign that Betelgeuse was on the cusp of exploding into a supernova, but others considered alternative explanations. The dimming may have been a result of something within the star itself, like a massive cloud of gas and dust that blocked its light or a change in its internal structure that caused it to temporarily lose luminosity. After this darkening event, the star's sudden increase in brightness over the following months only compounded the mystery. The fact that Betelgeuse's brightness fluctuates so drastically suggests that it could be going through an unstable phase of its life. It may be going through what's known as a pulsation phase, in which its outer layers expand and contract in cycles, releasing bursts of energy as a result. While this is typical behavior for red supergiants, Betelgeuse's rapid fluctuations are unlike anything seen in other stars of its size and type. The cause of these irregularities remains unclear, but they have drawn even more attention to the star. In addition to these unusual light patterns, astronomers have noted the presence of unusual features on the star's surface, such as the aforementioned dust clouds that look like leaves in space. These structures are indicative of a complex, chaotic environment surrounding the star. The fact that they appear to be in such close proximity to the star's outer layers is an alarming sign. These clouds may be formed by outflows of gas, perhaps due to internal instability, or they could be the result of the star shedding its outer envelope in preparation for a violent transformation. This kind of mass ejection could be a precursor to a supernova, though it is not yet clear whether Betelgeuse is shedding enough material to trigger such a cataclysmic event. Another key factor in the ongoing study of Betelgeuse is its mass. As previously mentioned, Betelgeuse is several times more massive than the Sun, which places it firmly in the category of stars that end their lives with a supernova. Stars of this size typically go through a series of dramatic phases in their final years, undergoing massive internal changes before their cores collapse and trigger a massive explosion. Given its size and the instability currently being observed, it's believed that Betelgeuse could explode within the next 100,000 years. Though, as we've seen, astronomical events like these can sometimes occur much sooner or later than expected. The precision of this estimate is still a matter of debate within the scientific community. The possibility that Betelgeuse is in the final stages of its life has led to numerous questions about what the aftermath of its death might look like. If it does indeed go supernova, it will be one of the most significant astronomical events to occur within the reach of human observation. A supernova explosion is capable of releasing energy equivalent to the sun's output over its entire lifespan, and it can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would be visible to the naked eye even in the daytime, and it could be seen from Earth for several weeks or months. Such an event would undoubtedly capture the attention of astronomers and stargazers alike, but it could also have more serious consequences for our planet. Despite the star's extreme distance from Earth, about 640 light years away, a supernova of Betelgeuse's magnitude could still have an impact on our planet. While the explosion would not be close enough to cause significant physical damage, the radiation released could pose a threat to Earth's atmosphere, particularly if the explosion emits large quantities of high-energy gamma rays or X-rays. These types of radiation could potentially damage the ozone layer, leading to a temporary increase in ultraviolet radiation reaching the surface of the Earth. This could have detrimental effects on life, particularly on plant and animal species that rely on the protection the ozone layer provides. In addition to the potential for atmospheric changes, scientists have speculated that a supernova of this magnitude could affect the solar system's dynamic balance. The shock wave from the explosion could disturb the interstellar medium potentially affecting the trajectories of comets and asteroids. Though this may sound like science fiction, 
the gravitational and electromagnetic waves generated by a supernova can have far-reaching effects on the surrounding cosmic environment. A nearby supernova could trigger a cascade of events that ripple through the solar system, altering the orbits of objects within it. On a more speculative note, there are also theories that Betelgeuse's eventual explosion could provide insights into some of the most fundamental questions of physics. Supernovae are believed to be key laboratories for studying the nature of matter and energy under extreme conditions. The death of a star like Betelgeuse could reveal more about the forces that govern the universe, such as the behavior of matter at incredibly high densities, the role of neutrinos in energy transfer, and the processes that lead to the formation of black holes. As scientists continue to monitor Betelgeuse, their understanding of stellar evolution, supernova mechanics, and cosmic phenomena is expanding. The ongoing observations made by advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are crucial in refining our models of stellar life cycles and preparing us for what might come next. The fact that Betelgeuse is so close to Earth in cosmic terms makes it an ideal subject for observation. Its behavior will likely provide key clues not only about its own eventual demise, but also about the broader processes at play in the universe. Whether or not Betelgeuse will explode soon remains uncertain. The star's behavior is undeniably strange, and while it may be in the final stages of its life, predicting when or how a supernova will occur is far from an exact science. As more data comes in, astronomers will continue to refine their models and predictions, but for now, Betelgeuse remains a captivating and mysterious object in the night sky, one that may eventually help us understand the explosive forces that shape the universe around us.